Another story in our new series, Working Past COVID, What's the New Normal? First responders across the country have been working diligently over the past year to continue to save lives, fight fires, and protect and serve, all while dealing with the professional and personal ramifications of the pandemic. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell talked to Yakima police and fire personnel about how their lives have changed in the past year and what their hopes are for the future. Has COVID changed the way we police? Yeah. Has it changed the way I did my job? Yeah. My job changed dramatically in my ability to, to go to meetings and communications. We had to keep working, but so did Safeway, you know, and, and so did the hospitals. First responders are used to facing danger. At a fire scene, a high-speed chase, a shooting. But when COVID hit, the danger increased with every call. Starting about March of 2020 until probably close to July, COVID was 95% of what I did. When I went home and kind of just collapsed and tried to recover as much as I can before starting again the next day. Especially as a public safety employee, the, the opportunity, I guess, to be exposed to that is probably higher dramatically. And so you do want to be very careful that you don't expose, you know, your family and friends. The call volume started to get really heavy. The longer it went on, unfortunately, services weren't available for people. And so there were a lot more mental health calls, um, suicides and domestics. People were stuck inside. We had to do our best to let them know we're doing the best we can, but everybody was just being worn thin, all the emergency services. The stress of the pandemic didn't stay at work. It followed them home. Some of the little things in life got lost. And I went to a movie with my granddaughter the other day for the first time in a year. She's only five. So 20% of her life, she couldn't go to a movie. I never thought someone would tell me that I couldn't go see my elderly grandma in an assisted living or that I had to visit her you know, when she's terminally ill through a screen window. But through it all, the community had their backs. We're the fire department. We're there to help people. And, and especially in the beginning, on a daily basis, we were getting calls from the community asking how they could help us. First responders say while things may never be the same, they have hope for the future. It'll be interesting to see what people really just let go of, but what they also miss and really flock back to. I think the key point right now is not to let our guard down too quickly until everybody that is you know, interested in getting vaccination does so. We're one big community, whether it be in the city of Yakima, the state of Washington or beyond. Um, we're not alone, we're in this together. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap View, Local News. Thank you so much, Emily. You can hear more from those first responders or check out other stories in the series at yaktrynews.com slash working past COVID. What's the new normal?